All right, team. Welcome back, day three uh, for our Selini Med Advanced training, and today is primarily focusing on a Q and A. And as you can also notice, my throat is not doing that well, so a lot of difficulty in speaking right now. Uh, but let me focus on the queries from the audience and see how I could help them out. So I'm going to start uh, from the top with Mohammed. First, I'm going to unmute you, please, Mohammed. And then I'm going to make you the presenter also. Uh, but right now you're unmuted. Yes. So you can speak out your question for me, please. Uh, thank you for unmuting me. And uh, mm. I had two issues. Uh, I could not close the browser. Mm. I uh, tried uh, ex uh, the exact same code that you did last uh, two classes. Mm. The problem was that the browser will not uh, close. And uh, another one was uh, when we log in and try to log out, and when we click on uh, admin, and I was able to uh, uh, do the uh, the X path for log out, which was H2, uh, whatever we had. But when I run the uh, code, it always pointed out to that uh, uh, the X path that. Uh, the line, uh, the code of uh, the line of code uh, that has the X path. So it seems like the log out X path was not recognized, and also I don't know why the browser does not close. So, Mohammed, why don't you show me the code? I made you the picture. Sure. You can click on Thank the you. screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. So here is what I have. Yeah. So let's see what happens when you execute this code. But before that, let's go okay. through the code, try and understand. From the top, please okay. go from the top. Okay. Expand my before also for me. Yes. So looks okay. All imports, few elements. Uh, I, um, not elements, variables defined after the class from line 13 to 16. Add before, we're setting the property to Gecko driver. It basically talks about Firefox. And I've shown you already how we can download it. Now we're getting the web URL. We're managing the timeout. We are clearing the field sending the keys for username and password. We also put one submit, getting the text invalid email or password, actual text, expected text. Now, what is this? Test case one, correct? That's right. Okay. Now, test case two, We'll again start with, now let's look at the close browser, uh, the at after please. Here is the close browser. So my driver close, it doesn't close, I don't know why. Okay, now how many browsers are supposed to open and close right now? So after each uh, uh, test case, it should close. It should run the after, which will close the uh, my driver, and then it will open another browser. So Correct. there will be two browsers. Correct. All right. So now let's run this and see what is happening, guys. Observe very closely what will happen and also what happens in the et after everyone <coughs> notice that firefox opened very good navigated great does it enter the values excellent click on login yes does this browser get closed no it doesn't close it will another browser will open okay and it will run the second test.
So it seems like it's stuck and not not going anywhere. So I will go to the test and okay. See. So if I click on the last uh -huh. one, it's pointing to the uh, the uh, link te uh, text, the okay. uh, element ID identification for the admin. Right. Now, uh, very good moment. On the left side, on top just below the red bar it shows you that the overall test is a fail sorry test case one is a pass test case two is a fail okay that's first second failure trace bottom left you perfect to go and point to where is it happening it's pointing to line number 85 now go to the top of this Failure trace, scroll up. The failure trace, listen to me please. Should I scroll up? The failure trace on the bottom left. Scroll up all the you way. Mind? Yes. Okay. What does it say? The first thing, <coughs> no such element action. Then, unable to locate element. Right. So it's not able to locate the admin link. All right. Now, how many issues team does Mohammed have as of now? Team, how many issues does Mohammed have? <clears throat> Come on, guys. I'm asking you a question. How many issues does Mohammed have? Involve on Mohammed's question first, then your question. All right. Mohammed has two issues. One, that the admin link is not clickable. Two, that the browsers are not getting closed. Right, Mohammed? That's right. Okay, now let's look at the uh, bottom right side console. Bottom console. Okay, please get very familiarized with this. Uh, drag this view to a little bit to the middle so I can see more of console. So, if you notice team, I am not focusing on the solution. I am focusing in the methodology to get to the solution. Right, everyone? It is not important to say, I know the answer. How do we get an answer? Because today I'm there. Tomorrow, what if I'm not there around you? How would you do it? Start from the top of console and show me what is happening. Okay, so Gecko driver opened. Now it says, what is this running test? The first black. Running test uh, is the uh, the uh, add test annotation. I just uh, okay. think of something. Why did you <coughs> it call? Is it showing running test or running test? I'm sorry, uh, that was uh, um, not acceptable. All right, I'm not trying to criticize, but do focus on the small, small, even grammatical errors, please, everyone. Can you all kindly make an effort towards doing that, please? As soon as you see, oops, I made a spell error, change it. Okay, everyone? All right, so now um, scroll down on the console, please. Go to the bottom. Not bottom, just scroll down a little bit. So running test, actual text is this, expected is this, test cases pass. <coughs> running after test 
So the browser is not getting closed in. All right. Now show me it after. Show me your at after code in JUnit. <clears throat> okay, now system dot out dot println. Yeah, just change that please. Copy the line ninety two and put it on line ninety three. Ninety four. Sorry, ninety four. After my driver dot close. <clears throat> See, I like the way Mohammad is making sure to organize the code, tabbing, making it look neat. Now, just let's change line ninety four from running after test to closed browser. So by now, question to everyone: Will the browser get closed on line ninety-two? No. Where does the browser get closed? Line ninety-three. So line ninety-four should be the statement right after the browser is closed. Understood, everyone. Now, uh, Mohammed, it is closed browser, not close. Past tense. See how much importance I'm giving to the small things. Okay, now let's go back to the uh, browser which was open for test case two, where you could successfully log in. Okay, so let's look at this admin. Take your mouse over it and inspect. Expand the highlighted HTML code. Expand span. Mm. So the link is just not admin. The link is got admin in that span with that colon colon before Muhammad. So what that means is it is not really. Identifying it that easily. What code did I write? Do you remember? I think it was the same. You you used uh, link text and in the uh, you typed admin for the text. Right. Okay. So Terry, your comment is good. Correct. The actual correct English should be browser closed. Thank you for the advice. Sure. Okay. So now, do you think it could be because of the browser? I'm kind of uh, team. Like everyone out of telling everyone. Team, do you think it's because of the browser? The, okay, are you sure? Because I hear no from everyone. Now, how do you make sure? Mohammed, let's change the browser and try the same code as is. I had uh, another issue running the 
code in Chrome browser. Uh -huh. Then I tried, I don't know, you know, I went to the uh, seleniumhq.org and didn't uh, find the uh, the driver for uh, Windows 64-bit. I can show you uh, if I sure, let, let me go over there. So if I click on the Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, Chrome driver. Mm. And I click on the Chrome driver 2.26. Uh. So here is, I don't see any driver for Windows 64 bit. And I did uh, download that 32, thinking like, <laughs> Uh, you know, there might be some glitch. And uh, when I tried to run the code uh, in Chrome browser, it didn't, uh, the, the browser opens and nothing uh, comes up. Then I uh, downloaded the uh, Firefox and uh, put the directory in the browser and uh, in the code and it worked. Okay, good. That's good approach. Okay, I like the approach. What you did. You saw 64-bit was not there. But you downloaded 32-bit and try to see if it will work. That's a good thought. Now, what did I do? I did the same thing. I downloaded the 32-bit and now it was working for me. Okay. You should try it with 32-bit just to see if there's any issue okay, with Chrome or Firefox and not on Chrome for the same code. All right, so that 32 bit is already downloaded in my computer, and I can just uh, sure comment it. I can comment the uh, right. So, Mohammed, uh, take a couple of minutes and change the code to Chrome, and try again. Meanwhile, I'll go to the next question and come back to you. All absolutely. Right? So, uh, are you going to uh, dis uh, disconnect me from sharing the computer, or yes. you know? It's your end, right? I'll, I'll make some your end. presenter. Uh, all right, perfect then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ruxana, I'm going to go with you next. And I will. So team, please observe very carefully how I'm trying to identify solutions. Because a lot of times we want the answer. But the process is something we don't focus on. That's important piece. So, Ruxana, I muted you and made you the presenter. Can you speak up for me, please? Hello. Team, all of you, please be ready to speak and share your screen for this Q&A to be effective. Just like how Mohammed was doing it. Second, Technical forum is a critical place, so you must ensure that you also start focusing on that. Mohammed did say that he put the questions there, but he didn't hear anything. So I'm going to look into it. Ruxana, I cannot hear you. Yes. Yeah, now Can I you hear me now? Yes. Hello? Yes. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Okay, all right. Um, uh, I tried to run the cases, but I, I got like these errors. I don't even know what the errors mean. Okay. And show uh, the screen, please. Can you see my screen? Uh, not yet. So, okay. Yeah, can you see it now? Mm, yes. There's always lag for a couple of seconds. So take okay. one question before Ruxana, you go forward. 
Did I share the code with anyone? Code I, meaning? This code, what I wrote in the day two, did I share it? No, right? So what does that mean? You had to write the code. Amazing. Great yes, job, guys. I, yeah, I, fo I, I followed your video and then... <laughs> Perfect. Yes. That is it. This is the way we're going to master. All right. Now, Tuxana is getting an error. Let's see. She's already run the code. One test case. And she's got an error. Where did the error come, Ruxana? Yeah, that's what I don't understand. I got this Good. like even like here to do. I did not even write that. It says like it's auto generated. Did you? And I got this. Copy. Sorry. Premium ID to web driver. Yes. Yes. That's fine. No problem. Okay. Now, if there's some code which is there as is, don't worry. Let it be. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. you should focus on the bottom left, failure tree. Yes. Mm -hmm. The first thing is go to the last one, last item. It says Java colon 48. Double click on yes. the last point. This one? Yes. Now, it will take you directly to that line where the issue is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what is the issue? Second question. In this failure trace, the first point is the issue. And it says, illegal state exception, the path to the driver executable must be set by webdriver.chrome.driver. Okay. Now, so it says basically that is the issue. How does Ruxana's code look? She has an ad before. She has defined web driver equals new Chrome driver. Correct? Then she set the property in line number 20. Yes. Correct. And then again, why driver equals new Chrome driver? Oh, okay. So I'm going to erase this one. Yeah. The new Correct. and just skip Chrome driver? No. You already did that in line 19. Yes. You don't need line 23. Okay. It's like me trying to come to you and give you two cups of coffee at the same time. Okay. All right? Okay. I got it. it. Mm -hmm. Now that is first. So what is this this problem? <clears throat> is this going to solve the problem? We don't know. But when we do the code walkthrough, does this seem right? It does not seem right. So let's fix that. That's what I'm doing. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, line 19, you define the driver. Line 20, you setting the path to the Chrome driver. Yes. How did uh, Mama do it and how did I do it, for example? Even I don't remember. I'm opening up my clips right now. Just to check. But team, you can tell me. Did we define the driver first and then set the property? Or is it that we do it the other way? Which comes first? Setting the driver property or defining the driver? Even I am not sure team. I am in fact going through my code myself and checking it. In my code, I set the property for the driver first, then defined it. Okay. Okay. Now. So this should go first. Yes, but there are two things in it. Your code should be broken down into two pieces. One. Line 19, right? Mm -hmm. Web driver equals driver. No, web driver, driver. Actually, you already, line 15, you defined, right? Web driver. Line 15. Yes. Okay, good. Now, that is there. 
take line 19, cut it and put it after line 20. <clears throat> now, the word driver is already a web driver, defined as web driver on line 15. You don't need to redefine it. So delete the word web driver from line 21. Only the web driver, only the word web driver, the first word. Now save and try and run this code, please. Are you observing team? How I'm trying to see a possible solution the approach one after one we're going in that fashion we're not in a hurry to make sure that everything should work did you run the code and you still got the same issue yes okay now private web driver driver now what is this line 31 doing saying web driver new chrome driver Delete that also, please. The whole block, the whole thing. 31 to 34. Oh, the entire thing? Yes. If you notice, the first time I did the code from IDE, the entire thing till 34. To uh, web driver, the code was totally different from what we wrote. So my strong recommendation team would be to please try and write the code at your end. <clears throat> line 33, <clears throat> annotation and the class on the same line. I don't know if it's a problem, but it doesn't look good. Change it, please. Oh, it, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah. Now let's save. See? Your code could have, yeah, run it, please. Could have had four issues. You got only one error. All right? But when we're fixing, we're trying to make sure that all, everything is fixed. Now, what does it say? Same error, everyone, yes or no? Or is it a different error? Not you, Ruxana, not you. Everyone else. Okay. Same error or a different error? Ah, so nice. Same error. Correct? Everyone, wake up, please. Fast. How could you even say it is the same error? How could you even? Are you even software test engineers? Are you seriously looking at a job in QA? Look at the failure trace on the left. What does it say? Double click on the line number for me, please. Where? Which line is the error? The last point to start with. And same line, driver dot close. Okay. Line 47. But the error this time says the driver executable does not exist. What did it say earlier? Do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. I forgot. No problem. What did it say earlier? Maybe others can answer. All right. Now, these things, please note, team. Observe very keenly. So, we're still getting the same. What is it saying now? Driver executable does not exist. Now, uh, sorry, who's this? Ruxana, please uh -huh. show me in your screen where the driver is. Chrome driver? Yes, where is it stored? Here. Show me in your Windows Explorer, please. Oh, okay. There. Okay. Now right click. Properties.
security. Copy the object name. Select it using your mouse from C colon all the way. On top. Yes. All the way. Yes. Okay. Copy. Now go back to the code. Put it in line 21 after before driver equals new chrome driver as is. <coughs> Control V please. Okay. Hmm. Minimize the width of the left column. The failure trace. I want to see the whole code. Minimize the width of the left. Oh, this one. <coughs> with yes now team do a quick comparison and tell me if line 20 and line 21 paths are the same or not i can't see your screen move it to the left please i want to see the code All the way. I want to see the whole code. Oh. So, what did Ruxana say at the end? Drivers dot Chrome driver. Uh, Let's see. Execute. Is it drivers dot or drivers double slash? On line twenty. Oh. It should be double slash. All right. Now, comment okay. line 21. One more. Perfect. Now run it again. Now what happened? Uh, Where is the error occurring? Actual test case execution from line that is printed. Actual test case after the test case execution is completed. Where did the error occur team? Come on. Team, which line did the error occur? Ruxana, which line did the error occur? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't see the URL. Okay, hold on. Don't jump to the answer. Please tell me which line did the error occur? On your failure which to line? bottom left. Double click on it. This one? Yes, double click. So guys, this also means a lot of times you're not <clears throat> listening to me when I'm doing the sessions. Maybe you're trying to practice at that time. A general comment to everyone team, do not do anything when you're listening to my lectures, please. Just focus on that. Now, it is trying to navigate to this URL. Is that the correct URL? PHP or HTML, I'm not sure. Where is www, HTTP? Oh. Uh, Where is it? Oh, oh yes, yes. All right. Now fix that. Yes. Continue to fix any issue you get in a similar fashion. Where did the error occur? What does it say about the error? What is wrong with the code? And so on. Do not type okay. it. Okay. Please copy and paste it. All right? Because okay. they make a mistake, which is, grammar, uh, you know, human-entered error. 
All right, Ruxana. So please try yes. and let us know. Okay. I'm going to go to the next participants meanwhile. Okay. All right. Let's see who's got what. Huda, please do not answer in the chat. Answer in the Q&A section, Mohammed. Okay, team, who's got the next question? Mohammed, what happened to your query? <clears throat> Meanwhile, who wants to go next, please? Nupur, question. Could you show us the syntax for identifying dynamic elements using XPath? No, I will not. Why should I? We already did that. So go back to the video. That was the last session from the Selenium Basic Trainings. Um, and Manoj handled that session. So go through that, please. How different Selenium is from APM when it comes to test mobile applications, native, hybrid, and web? Uh, out of context question. It is different, but we are not focusing on APM right now. Please use the forum for it. Let's stay focused on what we're doing, team. Huda. Okay, Kushal. I tried to write a code from scratch, but it runs a couple of times successfully. But after next day, when I run again, it throws an error. Kushal, do you want to go next? <coughs> Kushal, you're not using audio pin, so I can't unmute you. Let me know, please. Radhika, this is still not working by dot x path input at last select to search field send keys india do you want to show me radhika so team let me do this there are hundreds of chat messages i am unable to see who still has a question and want to share the screen can you please let me know once again in the q a as to what the question is Team, once again, kindly share your question over the chat so I can make you a presenter. So, if you look at your Ruxana now, you've got another error. Each time, a new error. You're fixing one, something else is going wrong. How do you start? First thing, failure trace, bottom left, where did the error occur? Which line number? First thing, bottom left line number scroll down on failure trace scroll down Ruxana on failure trace failure trace bottom left scroll down double click which line dot send keys this one is not found can you see it where did the browser open did it also get closed in it after <clears throat> go to your et after Show me your et after code, please. Observe what I'm trying to do, team. Come on, team. Looks like you all need a lot of practice. You had three, four days over the weekend to have put in some effort. If you don't practice and you come up unprepared, then I can't really do a QA and a or help you out. All right, Mohammed, is your issue fixed? Ruxana, are you able to scroll down on the code to the bottom where et after is? On the code, Ruxana. Yes. Where is it after? Comment line 48. Run it again so the browser won't get closed. And you can see what is going wrong in on that line 41. Then you'll be able to figure out. 
You are saying the same process everyone must follow. Okay. Now, go back to your eclipse. All right. Now, what does it say? It's still running. Driver dot timeout, line 28, right? 30 seconds, very long. That's why it's taking time. <clears throat> okay, meanwhile, Kushal, I'm going to unmute you. Can you speak a question for me, please? Wait, give me one second. So, Ruksana, now, what do you do first? Fail your trace, go to the bottom of it. How many times should I tell this to everyone? Bottom. Step number one. Where did the error occur? Here, driver 41, line 41. Yes. What is the error now? Go to this element neither has attached source nor attached Java doc. That is not the And error. hence, the error is in the failure trace. On the left side, Failure trace, that is the line number. Scroll to the top of it on failure trace. That Unable to locate element. Correct. No such element exception. Unable to locate element. What element is not able to find? Password. Okay. Login password. Now, let's go to the browser where it opened. No, no, no. Where did it open? Yeah, that one. Listen very carefully. Can you see the password field? Yes. Good. Is the web driver able to see the password field? No. That's why it gave the error. Okay. Now right click on the password field. <clears throat> what methodology are we using? Find element by? Expat. Show me in the code. Show me in the code Eclipse. What are you using here? ID. Not XPath, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, what is the XPath ID for this? In the browser, in inspect element. What is the ID here? Um, ID is input. That is oh, no. Tag is input and um, and ID is type. Type equals password. No. ID. Oh, sorry. ID equals login password. Is it login password? Login uh, underscore password. Then why did you say login password? Should not happen, Ruxan. Okay? You have to be very precise. Yeah. Because even small change, it will mess up the whole thing. Now go back to mm -hmm. it. What did you write? ID equals login underscore <coughs> password. How does it look, the format on line 39? Login username. Kushal, what is your question? Can you please put it out here? Yeah. Does it say ID equals login uh, equals login underscore username? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yes. Now, do you understand? Yeah. These yes. small things, you should make sure yes. to correct yes. them. Hold on. Ruxana. Mm -hmm. Issue is line 41, not line 39. Sorry. An issue is 
that id equals should not be there yes yeah now Sorry. yes what should you do if this is the position go back and start with element identification please again be very clear about it it is most critical element identification now close this mm -hmm. browser not here i'm talking about the tutorials the videos okay 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 yes mm -hmm. yes yeah. because this is what is critical you should not get frustrated as you keep going along in progress so make sure that uh, you master element identification then you get to this yes now read on this test please so team i don't see questions from anyone anymore all right so that means that this is good and i'm not going to take a very lengthy session today but it is the approach that is important through which each of you are trying to resolve issues like i was showing today you understood team please continue to follow that route now kushal what is the question you have Yes, sir. Uh, there was a in the different. Uh, I didn't download the Greco Tower uh, defined very well, so that's the that was an issue. But um, one more issue: if I try to find out the validation on the object or the or any link, can you show me that? Uh, how can I? Is it something I already did in the class? Um, you show that one time it is the invalid username and password uh -huh. um i'm trying to using that uh, link or any uh, like username to uh, validation for that like uh, you can do push anything push your question is too vague for me it has to be precise like mohammed had or ruksana had They had an exact issue. You have to tell me the exact issue or share your screen, please. Now, yes. we are still in the beginning of the advanced training. Many more sessions to come, and I think Kushal, from a validation point, we will cover this going forward. We'll focus more and more on error reporting, testing, validations. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I understand that. I'm I'm good on the question. All right. I will review the go through with the one more time. Excellent. Okay, just hold on because that's coming up. Sure. Thanks. And thanks for time. No problem. You're welcome. So, Mohammad, what happened to your code, please? I'm looking, trying to look at your answers in Q and A. All right, team. So you. did you all notice team the main issue is our approach to the defect resolution our approach we don't see the failure trace where did it occur what is the issue is our code correct line by line always remember again how do you become good developer first learn to read the code understand what each line is doing second make small challenges a changes third make big changes fourth repeat All right, I right, team. So please continue to practice. Do not be disappointed or frustrated if you face an issue. Look at how I went about going through issue resolution systematically, and try and do the same approach at your end. Practice more. I think you all require it, and we'll see you back tomorrow. take care everyone bye for now have a rest of your um, good day good night bye thank you all bye